Hey guys, my name is Will Ross. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you would like and subscribe, it would really help me out and I'm really trying to grow this channel. Before we get started today, guys, I want to ask your opinion on something. So I'm looking at a car to kind of center around this channel, do a bunch of mods and wraps or whatever. I'm looking at a 350Z, an Infiniti G35 or a Mazda Miata. Um, if you have any suggestions, I would really appreciate leaving a comment or just telling me which one of those three you really like and I'm just really excited about this. So uh, yeah. So yeah, please do that. And without further ado, let's get back to the video. In this video guys, I want to talk about five sports cars that are really fun to drive for high schoolers or college students or if you're a student in general. The first one I'm going to say is the VW Golf GTI. Specifically one of the newer generations, I just think they look the cleanest and I think that they have the best bang for your buck out of all the generations. I have a buddy that just got one so I've been privileged enough to drive a manual transmission Golf and we you know once you get into second gear that thing really wants to move. I really like the way these look, I love the way they drive and I think that they're a great fun car for a high school or college student. I love going to car shows and seeing these because they just look great with aftermarket support. I always really respect the kind of line or two of VW Golf owners. Um, I think they're just super cool. Very underrated car. I just love hatchbacks in general. Uh, and if you kind of like this platform and you like something that you can do a lot of things to, uh, the VW Golf GTI, in my opinion, is a great car to start out with. The second one on this list I'm going to say is the Lexus SC400. Now, I don't really know too much about this car. I do know that it comes in a four liter V8, pushes around 250 horsepower. I just don't see a lot of them on the road at all. I know that there are plenty of them because there are plenty of listings uh, near my area, specifically in Atlanta, for sale. And I just think they're a really clean car. Now I've seen a couple of them here and there, but all of them have been heavily modified and I've never seen like a base SC400. I guess that goes to show that the aftermarket support is really good. So that's a really good plus. A lot of people hate on the look. A lot of people think it looks like a catfish Camaro from back in the day, but I really like the way it looks. I love the headlights and I just love the platform in general. So my number two, I'm gonna say is the Lexus SC400. Number three, I'm gonna say the Toyota 86. Now this is kind of on the upper end of what we're gonna be talking about today. These might uh, cost a little bit more than the other cars on this list, but I think that if you're in that kind of higher budget, I would definitely look for a Toyota 86. These can range from as low as $10,000 to as high as twenty dollars or $25,000. I would kind of stick towards the ten dollars to $15,000 range just because I think that's the best value. This is by no means the quickest car on this list. Uh, it's probably number three, four, or five on the bottom end, but they're not known for their speed, they're known for their handling, and their transmissions are great. I think these are a great car to start out with, to modify with. Um, they don't come fast stock, but you can definitely put some superchargers in there, some intakes, exhaust, everything that come together to make it a fast, great handling driving car. I also think it's probably the best looking on this list. You know, after you mod it, uh, after you put a wing on it, wide body kit, whatever you have the money for, I think that there's the most potential for the 86, in my opinion. So the 86 actually comes in two other forms, the Scion FRS or the Subaru BRZ. I'm just putting the Toyota 86 in here as kind of a general reference to this model. You can pick whatever company you want. I just want the Toyota because I drive a Tacoma, I'm biased. So that is my number three, the Toyota 86. Number four, I'm gonna say the Ford Mustang. So this is on a lot of my list because the Ford Mustang is just a classic, reliable car. You can get it for really cheap too. Uh, these can run as low as $5,000 all the way up to $30,000. It just depends what generation you're looking at, how new, and all the mileage and transmission and everything like that. I think this is definitely tailored towards a muscle car kind of enthusiast. I love the Ford Mustangs. You could also go for a Camaro. I'm just putting a Mustang to kind of put a one car in a general area into this list. I've also been able to drive one of the newer generation Ford Mustangs recently. Uh, it wasn't automatic. I wasn't able to drive the manual, but I loved the experience. I was in a drop top convertible. You can get any trim you want. This is just a broad spectrum of all the Ford Mustangs but I loved the ride I was in it has a great sound and if you mod it it looks insane I love the way these look aftermarket so sticking at number four the Ford Mustang number five you know where I'm going with this is the Mazda Miata M-I-A-T-A -A, Miata is always the answer these are just so fun to drive this is a list of fun cars for high schoolers college students and I think this is number five and this is the last one on my list because I just love it so much they're little they don't have a lot of power but they have enough power to where you can throw it in the corners and it just Riffs. Most come in a convertible coupe sports car, and who doesn't want to drive a convertible sports car in their high school days? The Miata is the perfect car in between the car enthusiast and someone who wants to work on a car. This is the perfect car to begin with. The possibilities are endless, really, when it comes to aftermarket support, both visually and internally. These can get up to 500 horsepower, which is kind of insane. You know, that might take a little bit more money than you're, what you're expecting, but um, just in general, these cars are really fun to turn into drift cars, just everyday weekend cars, or just everyday commuters 
commuter cars. Uh, this is the best selling sports car of all time for a reason. I had to throw it on this list. It's a classic. Number five, the Mazda Miata. So that about wraps up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like and subscribe, I'm actually going to a car show today. This is going to drop on Sunday. So I'm going to Caffeine and Octane in Atlanta. Going to try and get some content, some YouTube shorts for the next coming weeks. So uh, stay tuned for that. But thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, comment down below if you want to see some more videos like this. And I really appreciate you guys watching this video. So I'll see you in the next one. 